Curtis, how, how did you lose on Saturday? Um, scratching our heads a little bit um, with the performance, but um, if we don't keep doing what we what we set out to do or what gives us a two-goal lead, um, you're asking for trouble in the championship. I think the goal that got them back in was a wonder strike, um, but again, we shouldn't have been really thinking about that. <clears throat> I think we went away from what we'd been very good at for most of the game. Um, and for us, you know, conceding a goal that late, when we've, we've, you know, we've had a debrief on it and uh, we're, we're unhappy with the defending as such. Uh, not just the defenders as a group, uh, because I think we've been doing it quite well. I think the press conference before the game, we spoke about how well the lads have defended, so uh, I'm going to blame you on that. <laughs> um, but um, no, but it was something again, it's the championship, you've got to move on. And we weren't happy with it, but again, it doesn't make or break our season. We go into the next game as confident as, 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 we, as we were going into the uh, Stoke game. Is one of the jobs this week to manage the players because it's two long trips in a short space of time? Yeah, we've got to manage them to a, a certain extent, but you know, professional footballers, they have to, you know, you've got to play sometimes, you've got to play games in, in a few days. Um, I knew when I played, I wanted to play as many games as I could. I hate being rested. <laughs> I hate being rested. So. Um, everyone still wants to get back out there. I think lads are, you know, disappointed, frustrated with the result on Saturday, and want to make amends. Should not amends for it. Just want to just show maybe a truer version of ourselves. Um, so I think you know, this morning and with the debrief yesterday and speaking to everybody that we'll, um, you know, whatever whoever we pick will be one hundred percent up for it. Yeah, it's three wins, three draws, three defeats so far mm. this season. If you can just notch it up a level, then, um, then you can really climb that league table. Yeah, I think we've been talking about a couple of press conferences I've done that, that Nigel has been able to do. We've talked about consistency and having a consistent performance, um, performances as such. Um, and I didn't think Saturday was consistent enough. Mm. And it's something that we're striving to do, that we're trying to do. And, um, but we, you know, we, it's like gifts, but and maybes, isn't it? Um, but when you've got to do it when, it when when it really matters, when you're out there, when there's 22,000 or there's 25,000 or whatever, you've got to... You've got to, to manage the game individually, then as a unit and then as a team. So it's something that, yeah, are we happy enough with the way we are? Not really, probably like most championship teams, we look at games where we should have had more points. Um, but they're gone. That, that's history. And uh, we look forward to the next two games before the international break. Um, the coach, I think, is leaving any minute now. Um, is, is George yes. Tanner on the bus? George, we'll have a little look at him. Um, still a little bit sore, uh, to be fair. But again, he's one that, that, that's desperate to play. Um, we'll give him right up to the last minute, but he was sore. He was a little bit sore again this morning. He did a little bit, but not too much. So we, we'll see. But we've got two games, and we have the international break. So, like I say to you all the time, we have to be careful with some of our players. So we'll see how he is. Um, Nigel made the decision. He won't make the decision, <laughs> you know. So it's uh, yeah, he, he wants to he wants to play, um, but we'll see how that is. Mark Sykes as well. Was there a, a, a slight niggle with him? How's he? No, Sykes is, Sykes is okay. Sykes is a little niggle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, I'd be disappointed if that niggle kept him out of the team or kept him out of the squad uh, for Wednesday night. You know, he did get a kick on it in the, uh, the well, we call it a controversial penalty decision. He got stamped on on his foot, so it was a little bit um, sore. Um, but again, I'd be disappointed if he, if he uh, wasn't fit to play. Yeah. Often I'm told it's just about the next mm. game, but you're playing Leeds on Saturday. Do mm. you as a coaching staff, if having your minds almost, in your minds, a team for tomorrow and a team for Saturday? I know you've got to get rather out of the way, mm. but does that make sense then with, with the games coming up thick and fast? Do you almost have, do you almost know the team in mind you have for, for tomorrow and for Saturday? No, I think so. We've got the biggest squad in the world. I think you're going to know, you know, most teams in the championship, there's only, few, there's only very few that have got so many players that could change 11 at any, any one time. And um, with the international break, we know there's plenty of rest. You know, we won't have many going away in the international break. So the two games are coming for us. So, yeah, we, we have that. But our priority is to bounce back from Saturday. And our priority is Rotherham. And Leeds is, is wonderful, but we'll t think about them at a minute past ten uh, tomorrow night when the game is done. Uh, but we've got to do our prep. We've got to do our prep. We've got it ready because it's a quick turnover when you're playing a Wednesday. So, uh, so we know we, we know what we have to do. We'll have a look at again on Thursday at Leeds, but um, Rotherham is is it's 110 percent our focus. And what test will they provide you on Wednesday night? It'll be very very tough. Um, uh, looking at the game against Cardiff, a 2-0 game, but 
people are right in it, you know, are right in it, up to, to a couple of set piece or a little bit of, little bit of defending which affected us at the, the weekend. So that's just a championship, you've got to be right on it. It's a tough place to go. We went last season, they played very, very well and we were under the cosh for, for, for uh, minutes of that game. So we know it's going to be an up and Adam, you know, Jordan Hugel up top is a, is a handful, worked him, um, good guy, worked him up at Middlesbrough. He's going to be a handful, there's no doubt about that. But, they, you know, at home, they, they, they're the match for anybody, I think. So we really have to turn up. And, uh, and for us, that's, um, as I've said, or as I just said on numerous occasions, it's, it's about how we go, how, what we do when we go there. And, um, and then we'll see what happens. But we have to be at the best uh, that we can be. And just to, 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 to kind of even that out, you've got to do that 46 times in this league because every result, every weekend, you, you know, Whoever does the coupons, if you're allowed to do the coupons, I don't know. But whoever does the coupons is, uh, you know, you wouldn't be sure, would you, about some of the results. So we 46 times, we've got to turn up and be us. Uh, it's quite difficult to do, but we'll, we'll strive to get there. And do you head back to Bristol after the game? Do you stay up in, in the Yorkshire area? No, we'll head back down. No, we'll head back down. Um, we're kind of setting what we have. It's been talked about and planned and, and uh, you know, weeks previous. Not, not the teams, as we said, but the, uh, the organisation, operational things. Uh, for us, we've got the cryotherapy here as well, which really helps with the guys when they come back off the coach uh, after the game on Wednesday, which is a big help for them for, for the recovery. And then we've got a couple of days to, to get ready for Leeds. So, yeah, no, we'll, we'll, we'll travel back down. It's getting closer to my home and then driving back down away from it for their Leeds will get me close enough. So, um, no, uh, uh, we, we, we talk, we, we discuss everything and uh, we're definitely coming back. Okay, see you tomorrow. Thank you. The video session that you would have had then, mm. in, 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 sorry to go back to Stoke, but... No problem. Those, w w when you're looking at, because obviously it must be great to watch them when, when you've done a win, had a win, but when you watch them on the back of that sort of defeat where you know you played fundamentally well but there were small things that went wrong at key moments yeah. what's kind of the atmosphere and how as coaches are you transmitting information to players who kind of have made mistakes if you like yeah it's a q and a it's, it's it, as i said to you from day one we're very transparent um, if you make a mistake or you know we have you know you haven't gone out you know, to, to, to make a mistake or to you know, to, a misjudgment with a pass or a header. It's not always, you know, when a goal is given away, it's probably not always the one person that people will look at. There's five or six different situations to, during that. So we're, it's, we're quite open and uh, we'll have a Q&A and we'll discuss what we can do better because we have to look at it. It's part of our job. It's not all good. <laughs> it's not all happy and smiling and parties and, and uh, you know, sometimes you, you, you know, you're disappointed, but we've got to look at the hard truths of the game. But again, what we will do is we reinforce the goods. It's not just all negative. I think I remember years ago thinking, or oh, having, you know, having a video session. I was like, I had hair then, and I was like, I was cringing. I was like, I had a hair. I was like, oh God, I should have got tight there. Or it was quite not quite critical, but it was quite hard hitting. Where I think it's a lot more open now, and the players are quite open, and they can have all the clips they want in the day. The they would have seen it a hundred times before we've shown it. There's no doubt about that. So it's something that we have to discuss if we want to get better. It's the hard through which we look at ourselves. The players look at themselves as well. And that's the environment we're trying to breed. Is that sort of individual accountability, because some players must be better at it than others. Mm. And is it fair to say this squad are quite good at that in terms of they do, people who hold their hands up and they're willing to take that responsibility of making an error? Is that something that's kind of developed or has that always been the case here, do you think? No, I think it's something that's really developed and I think it's something that you can see. I think it's something that we have to nurture, that we have to say that there's no... We know that nobody goes out to make a mistake. You know, if we keep making the same mistakes, well, then we've got to really improve on that. Or if you keep making the mistakes and play at that level, then well, you may have to go. But that's the nature of the business. It's, it's we're in a we're in a, in a in a game that's it's competitive. It's a competitive game in, on and off the pitch. And I think the accountability here is very good. No one likes it. You know, mm. nobody really. You, if we're honest with ourselves, we hold our hands up. We don't really like it. You, one, you're good that you made the decision, but the other is that you're going to think. Phew, I've been good at this, I've been good at that, and is it fair and stuff like that. But what we're saying is it's not about, you know, targeting anybody. It's the accountability is very, very important. And we're accountable. Nigel is accountable. So we've got no qualms with that, no worries with it. It's our jobs. And, um, and that's what you live and die by. Looking at the defence then, um, 
how much is there? And I appreciate, obviously, you kind of, if George isn't right, obviously Zach's out. There's kind of limited things you can do. But when there's been a few issues in defence, how much is the argument for changing it? Or how much is the argument for actually keeping them together? Because you kind of want them to work out their mistake and make sure they don't do it again long term. It's like a short term, the long term thing, I guess. Yeah, isn't it? yeah. But again, it comes to consistency, doesn't it? Mm. It comes to consistency as a unit. It comes to consistency as an individual and it comes to consistency as a team. We'll change the team if we can't get the consistency that we need. We'll change the units if we can't. You know what I mean? And we'll change the individual if they can't. So I think it's it's one of those things that we don't judge on 90 minutes, 98 minutes. Mm. You know, you've got to give people a, a chance. The best players in the world don't have six to ten you know, consecutively good games. You know, what do you do with Lionel Messi misses a penalty? You say, say that, oh, I'm a bit of a nightmare here, you're not good enough, that left foot isn't good enough, or whatever, but I'm, I'm, that's just, you know, me, me being a little bit silly, but I just think it's, it's something that we're always looking at, the lads are striving, and the, the, what we have here is we have an environment of learning, we have an environment of team, which is, which is more important than any individual, and, uh, and you know, the guys don't want to let their, their, their mates down as such. So um, it's, 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 it's an open-ended one for us. With the penalties, the Mark Sykes one, which you seem pretty adamant was a penalty, I think, everyone looking it back. There was one at Cam in the second half where he basically got mm. clotheslined. Is that something you contact the PGML about? Or is it something you leave? No, no, we don't leave. No, no, we definitely do. And, and they're quite open. They always come back. You know, we've had a couple of decisions this season that they said um, they'd got wrong. And there's a couple that we think that they got wrong. You know, they, they don't think that Sykes was a penalty. They've said, um, they've subsequently yeah, said they that. they don't think it was a penalty. Oh, really? So, yeah, so, so we got feedback on that. And then there's not much we can do about it. All yeah. we can do is... is, is um, is write to them and you know and inform them and, and ask them for a decision on that. So, you know, they, they make the decision on the day, and we thought it was a penalty, and you probably still do, but it wasn't given. So it doesn't matter. We move on. Can, can I ask what why they said it wasn't? Do they say why that wasn't a penalty? Uh, yeah, there's loads of little bits of it. I, I won't. Do you know what I mean? It's a, it's gone now for me. For yeah. us, it's gone. Um, but we got we got the report back, and it said because of this, because of that. But that's fine. It wasn't given. Um, we thought we should have had it, but you know, we, we move on. We can't keep dwelling on it. Yeah. You know, yeah. That's, Sorry. I'll... Yeah. No. 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 That's fine. <laughs> that's not me having a go at you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's just uh, we can't dwell on it. It wasn't given at that at that time. We were quite incensed by it. We wanted to get feedback from it. We got the feedback. You know, we move on. And the cam one? Did they say the same about the cam one? Mm. Oh, okay. Yeah. So it's you know. Um, that, that's it's the game, yeah. isn't it? It's the yeah. game, and, and and I think there'd be a few managers, a few coaches, you know, uh, talking to the press today, saying this should have been or it shouldn't have been, and uh, that's every Saturday, every Tuesday, every Wednesday. So that's fine. It's a difficult job. We know we understand that, but um, you know, when we were so adamant that we think it is, it's quite hard to hear it wasn't. So yeah, no, I imagine. Um, obviously, there was a it sort of it was a fairly big uh, game Saturday at Ashton Gate good crowd mm. Ellen Road would be a good crowd mm. tomorrow night might not be such a big crowd with all due respect to Robin but also you've got train strikes it's going to be hard for a lot of City fans to get up there thanks on Sky yes. how much does that impact players in terms of like I mean you reference mm. yourself your own mm. playing days when, when maybe the, the atmosphere isn't quite there other games, like how much does that come into how, how you kind of I think play? sometimes I think you've got to take it every game and as, as an individual game. Um, I think it's one of those that we have to play well, we have to work hard, we've got to be up for the battle. It's a, it's a smaller ground, so you know, you don't need as many fans there. Yeah, there's right. always a good atmosphere to get right behind the team as they did. You were there last year, as they did, so it's going to be a tough game. The atmosphere will be good, it's live on Sky. You know, so it's a, it's, a, it's a big game for all of us. So I don't think anyone's really thinking that. I don't think there should be any difference in it. I think our mentality, as I said to you, is about what's going to work. And then what goes on around us, um, you, you know, we'll take into consideration after that. But it's all about what we do and, and how hard we work and how you know, consistent we are in our decision making. And then sometimes it's a little bit of luck and maybe it's sometimes a little bit of quality. So, uh, so for us, it's we, we, again we're not thinking about that. We're not thinking about the crowd at Leeds. You know, we're not thinking about the crowd tonight, or tomorrow night. And the fact it's on telly as well. Is mm. that a few haircuts or? Yeah, well, some have an option. 
So yeah. I have an option for it. Though, so, <laughs> I haven't. so it's um, it's one of those things, isn't it? But you know, the lads, the lads like a haircut. I think it's it's always been the same, isn't it? I yeah. suppose you're going to be live on TV in like, any, any, like any generation. Because obviously, when you were Middlesbrough, yeah, you were playing a lot. Generation, all really. of the guys, and yeah. I was, you know, I was from Dublin, so sometimes lads couldn't afford to ever come over to a game, so the opportunity for them to see us play live on TV was big, so you knew that people at home would be looking. Um, but again, that's the nature, of the, uh, the nature of the business, it's a professional game and that's why we're in it. You want to play a big game, you want to play live on TV, that should give you an excitement. So uh, as I said, you know, we'll, we'll be looking forward to it.